Um, but uh, now you're organizing a conference um, in Prague that will be held in September on methamphetamines. Now, as with any uh, substance, not e not it doesn't have to be legal. We know how many uh, legal uh, medicines are presumed to be very uh, good, and later we find they're not that good. Yes. Um, uh -huh. the, the same goes for illegal drugs. Sometimes um, the negative effects of them are much exaggerated, uh, and then the people that use them uh, have a, a, a negative understanding of uh, uh, how negative exactly they are or not, because, well, they begin smoking cannabis and uh, find out that you don't... Uh, turn into a, 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 a wolf as uh, the commercial <laughs> went in yeah. the 30s in the States. But um, um, how is it with methamphetamine? I mean, you, you've been working with uh, people using methamphetamines, especially those, uh, uh, as it's called, abusing it. Um, could you differentiate uh, between the uh, effects, the physical effects of those using methamphetamine seldomly every so often as a recreative drug and those abusing it and what effects it has both on psychologically and physically well it, it, it's uh it's it's interesting i, I mean, without it without a doubt uh you know there are individuals that are using methamphetamine recreationally however it, it the, the thing about methamphetamine is it, it is a very effective uh, stimulant. So uh, quite often we see a lot of people fall into, uh, I guess, patterns of overuse. And, you know, uh, drug use is complicated. People use it for many, many different reasons. Mm -hmm. The situation in the Czech Republic it is, uh, is different than in, in other areas. Uh, uh, and, you know, we're focusing on the Czech Republic here because it, it is really a country with a long history of methamphetamine use and response. Now, as far as the effects of the drug, you know, it, it keeps you up for a very long time, of course. And is, you don't need to actually do a drug to know that if you don't sleep for a very long time, it's going to uh, impair your judgment, it's going to have an effect on you that... You know, staying awake for long periods of time is not really too good for one's psychological state. Also, you know, depending on the intake of the drug, dangers uh, can be associated with that. Of course, you know, we know that there are high risks associated with injection drug use. And it's not just he HIV, it's hepatitis C and hepatitis B. It's also uh, other drugs, uh, other harms that can be passed along through uh, in, in injecting into veins. Uh, and uh, with methamphetamine, which can also be smoked, there are certainly uh, harms associated with smoking. I, I think that one of the biggest harms associated with illicit drug use is the lifestyle that comes along with it. I mean, quite often, uh, you know, drug users are, have to use in secret. That puts them at more risk for drug overdoses. Uh, of course, there is uh, the, the problems of, of getting arrested and then becoming a part of the criminal uh, justice system. And once you enter the criminal justice system in any country, you know, that can create a huge problems for you and for your, and for your family. So... It, it's 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 quite complicated, and and I'm not saying that by any means that these drugs should be made legal, and only because I don't know of a system to legalize them. I'm not saying that we shouldn't, you know, perhaps we shouldn't decriminalize drug use, uh, but I I don't I, I'm really not an expert in that field, so I really don't know how it would look if drugs might be made legal, and you know, because many many of my uh, colleagues and and people are just acquaintances uh, that I've, I've read say uh, that legalizing drugs will reduce the overall uh, negative consequences associated with their use. Yeah, that is uh, an opinion of many experts, especially those that um, um, work with uh, drug addicts. But also, I mean, Amsterdam is an example of this. I mean, Netherlands, uh, where uh, there 
well, the laws are not different from the rest of the world, but uh, considering cannabis, it's still illegal. But uh, whether when we look at the percent of people using cannabis in Netherlands, it's lower from all the yes. neighboring countries as well as uh, especially USA, which uh, has the most uh, one of the most um, um, restrictive laws when it comes to illegal drugs. So yeah, and in the United States, we also have more people in jail mm -hmm. than anywhere mm -hmm. in prison than anywhere else in the world, mm -hmm. and a significant number of those are in jail for drugs, and uh, it and it's just increasing. And in addition, the U.S. consumes more illicit drugs <laughs> than anywhere else mm -hmm. in the world. So mm -hmm. that should be an indicator of how our our own policy has failed. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if we compare methamphetamines now, they're uh, the second uh, on the list of uh, most liked uh, uh, regarding illicit drugs. They come after cannabis. All right, cannabis is used by, if you look at United Nations uh, papers, at, by, I don't know, around 160 million, 80 million people. Uh, whereas the next come methamphetamines by around um, 25, 26 million people, if I'm correct. Um, but the knowledge on methamphetamines is uh, how much do we really know on a scientific basis about methamphetamines if we compare it to um, other stimulants such as cocaine uh, or other um, drugs such as um, heroin and cannabis, etc.? Well, you know, actually, I mean, the stimulants have been around for a very long time. We, we, we know a lot about the drug. I think we're, what we don't know is how to properly respond to the drug. I think, mm -hmm. in my opinion, there is, uh, you know, well, from the data that I have seen, uh, and I have to go, you know, I have to look at science and scientific research, uh, it's, you know, it shows us that uh, treating methamphetamine users I mean, the outcomes are the same. People who are addicted or, you know, to methamphetamine can recover at the same rates as people addicted to heroin and cocaine. However, I, I believe that the problem is we're spending a lot of our time adapting treatment that is being used for cocaine and heroin, and what we knew, need to do is to create new treatments specific to methamphetamine. And then I think, well, because right now what we see is, uh, yes, the treatment outcomes are the same, but it takes longer for people to recover from methamphetamine. And I think part of the problem there is just that we're, we're trying to adapt the techniques that we used for other drugs. Uh, and uh, I just don't think that's appropriate. Uh, what, what, for me, one of the biggest issues around methamphetamine is... You know, it, you don't need soil to grow it in. You don't, you don't need uh, to grow it. You don't need water. All you need are chemicals. And for the most part, these chemicals can be acquired uh, by anyone. And all you need is a rudimentary understanding of chemistry to produce this drug. Now, what, what this means is that people are producing it themselves, but... For the most part, when it comes to methamphetamine, you're, 